Hey folks, got another review for you. Another uh, Blucher product. This is by Sam Mustafa and Honor Games. Uh, this is for the Blucher rules. Uh, it's the second card set, full card set, uh, made by uh, Sam Mustafa and for Blucher. Uh, and this is called War to the Death. And this is the Armies of the Peninsular War, as it says. Uh, it's basically an expansion. It follows on from the original box set of cards, which was this one, uh, which was the 100 Days. I won't get into that one right now. But this is what you get. It's a really nice box, very hard cover. You can protect your cards in this box easily. Uh, let's see what's in there and check it out. And again, this is for the blue shoe rules. But one thing I would point out is a lot of these cards uh, could be used with any set of rules. I mean, if you wanted to use hidden deployment or uh, even hidden movement, they're average, they're basically playing card size. So that gives you an idea of what you're dealing with here. But you could use these for other games uh, because of that. Uh, however, one of the good sides about this is that on the reverse side of each card, you have units. Uh, and if you know Blue Shirt, the rules are kind of designed around the use of these cards. If you wanted to not use miniatures, uh, you could use these cards. And that's the whole point of these box sets. Uh, in this, well, let's take a look at the card, actually. you got all the Elan numbers there for each unit. Uh, special rules here. Uh, this is something very useful. In the original set, it, the cards did not have point values. Uh, these ones do, and that's nice. So you can literally design your armies just with the cards. Uh, and there's enough cards in here to actually build um, all the armies from the army lists in the Blucher rulebook. And of course, more stats, nice little picture of what it represents, and the troops all deployed. Again, in case you're not using miniatures. Uh, so yeah, these are really high quality playing cards. Uh, I could take some of these out of here. And you get everything you need for the British, the Spanish, and the French armies that fought in the peninsula. Uh, you get all the units, enough cards to generate all the units you need using the army builder rules the Blucher game. Now, I did actually take all the French cards out and I put them on these little uh, card protectors, uh, which I highly advise you do with any cards you use in your game, but not necessary. Uh, as you can see, that's what it looks like. They're very cheap to get. But another thing I should point out about these cards, unlike the 100 Days, is that this space here, which is typically in the 100 Days campaign set, uh, it, it just had a unit ID. And the actual units that took part in the 100 Days campaign would be listed here. Well, all the cards in the War to the Death set are blank, which means you could fill these in yourself. So I actually like that. That's a great uh, way to produce this set because it makes it very generic. You could use these cards uh, with any period, really, uh, not just the Peninsula, and put in your own information. So I like that a lot. Here's all the French cards. And again, nice reverse side to it. And I believe, let's see here, there are 216 high quality cards, and they are high quality. Uh, French early and late war, French minor allied states, Great Britain, British minor allies, and Spain. So everything you need is in here, including the uh, personality, the sub commanders, and the commander-in-chiefs for the various armies, like Napoleon, for instance. Uh, they're all in here. If you want to play the Peninsula and you like the use of cards, grab this set. It's well worth it. I really like them. Now, I use miniatures in my games. Uh, however, I do use these cards, as you can see. For the most part, I use them for the information uh, during a game. Uh, whatever unit types I'm going to be playing with, I'll pull the card so I'll have access to the information. So I don't have to write it down. Uh, if I was playing with the right, with big base sizes like this, base widths, I could actually use these cards in my games uh, to show hidden uh, deployment, which would be very useful because they're beautiful cards. Uh, so yeah, you can get all kinds of uses for these, not just with the blue shoe rolls. Uh, nice little box, well packed and stored, so you can't go wrong with that, right folks? And here's some of the British cards, just look at the backs on that. Nice Union Jack. Frederick Wilhelm, all kinds of little characters in here from the Peninsula campaigns. Uh, and yeah, you could use these, like I said, from any of the campaigns that involve the British and the French uh, 
in the Napoleonic Wars. It doesn't have to be restricted to just the Peninsular Campaigns. Uh, let's take a look at some of these uh, Spanish units. We've got regular infantry there. Uh, lots of regular infantry. And regular infantry. And of course, it's nice artwork on these little cards, too. I like that. Again, the point value. So, yeah. I have no problem with these sets of cards. Again, I use miniatures, but like I said, you can use these cards with a lot of different games and make, make use of them for different purposes. Uh, very nice. And again, it's high quality, standard playing cards. Uh, yeah, highly recommended, folks. If you not essential to playing Blucher, but if you want to give Blucher a try, or if you're interested in uh, completing your collection of Blucher items, you know, I, I highly do recommend this. Uh, again, not essential, but very useful. Uh, not just for Blucher, but for Napoleonic gaming in general. Uh, okay, that's about it. It's a really quick review, actually. Uh, you got any questions about it, just let me know. Leave them in the comments below. And if you want to see more reviews like this, also let me know. Any suggestions for uh, things you would like to see me review, let me know. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.